I saw Coach Jim Penley. I know this is a, a team in Reynolds that you've got a lot of respect for, but how good does it feel to uh, get over that hump, get a win over them in the playoffs? You know, honestly, I'm just more excited about how we played tonight. I mean, you take a couple uh, miscues with some turnovers out of the way. Like, we did what we wanted to be able to do. We came in, we established the run. We made some great play action passes that were just huge. Uh, defensively, um, you know, our, our secondary had a great game, obviously. Cole had a great game, but uh, we had we had linebackers and lanes. We got good pass rush by the defense. Um, it's just, you know, this was one of the first times where we truly played what we wanted to be able to play on offense and defense, play a solid brand of football, and, uh, and this is the best time to do it. And other than the turnovers, we didn't have a lot of stupid penalties and mistakes. So to me, that's more what I'm excited about because I have nothing but respect for Josh and his team over there. I mean, nothing but respect for them. And, uh, and they fought like crazy. But uh, I'm just I'm more happy about what we're doing in the playoffs more than even beating Reynolds. Uh, so you talk about those turnovers. You get a big uh, stop on fourth down and give the ball back right away on a fumble. And they are able to go down and score. What did you see from your team being able to come back, bounce back from that, and uh, give themselves right back on the scoreboard? I would say this with a couple of the turnovers. The one thing that was really nice is we were put in some really adverse positions tonight. You know, right down there on the one yard line, like three straight plays, and we get the stop. Uh, then we, you know, break a long Tucker run off the veer. Um, obviously, we gave the ball over a couple times, then we got it right back. Um, and I think, I think for where we are right now, um, you have to look at those as really good opportunities for us to continue to grow and learn from our mistakes. And in my opinion, earlier this year, when we'd make those mistakes, we didn't respond. And I think what was great tonight was, is with our mistakes, we turned around and made a response. And I, you know, we're obviously going to need that no matter who we're playing uh, in the next round and if we're going to continue playing because these teams are just so good. And uh, we're going to have to be able to, when they make a big play, we're going to have to respond. How big of a momentum shift was that? You talked about the goal line stand and then uh, Tucker Lindell breaks off a 99-yard uh, touchdown run. How big of a momentum swing was that? Not just to, not just to get the stand, but then go right back and get a big play and a touchdown. I mean, obviously, it's massive. It's absolutely massive. I mean, Tucker had a great game. Uh, but Tucker's been playing phenomenal for us all year. You know, I, I feel like we got we got three, four. We got four really good runners who can make some plays. And tonight was Tucker's night to shine, man. I mean, I'll tell you what. I mean, we were able to do some toss. We were able to do some counter, make some big plays. But when we ran that veer, Sean ran them great. I mean, Sean was making great reads. And uh, and when you do that, then you just let Tucker run hard. And, and But it is huge. It's huge to be able to have a response like that. Uh, and also not to be missed on that play. Uh, Chris Bunk running 99 yards to be able to cut off the last guy, that's huge. Because that shows how much effort that these guys want to make this playoffs a real run at a title. Uh, you talk about uh, you know composure and, and Sean making some plays. One of his uh, touchdown passes actually came on a, a snap that went over his head. He had to go gather it in uh, and then come back and, and make the throw. What kind of maturity have you seen from him from the uh, start of him taking over at the quarterback position uh, to making a play like that tonight? I mean, Sean... Sean is a mature ball player in the first place. I mean, he's, he's a tremendous leader. Uh, Bunk's a tremendous leader. So, hey, we get a fumbled snap. Bunk still finds himself open. Sean makes a great play on it, keeps his head. Um, and, you know, I think that uh, with, with those guys, uh, those seniors that we have out there, um, all of those guys have done a great job of just continuing to mature throughout the year, uh, knowing that even though we maybe weren't where we wanted to be earlier in the year, this is when it matters. And it's great to see them continue to realize, hey, this is our shot. Let's not waste it. Uh, you talk about uh, you know turnovers, had a few fumbles today, lost a couple of those balls. But again, your defense generated some turnovers themselves. Uh, but like you mentioned, not very many penalties, uh, a couple of uh, you know, formation or offside penalties, but what are some things that you're looking at right now to clean up before you head into next week that you know you're gonna have to take care of to get to the championship game? I mean, we, we still gotta continue to focus. Um, we gotta be able to know what we're doing. We need to be able to focus on snap counts. We gotta make sure that we don't fumble those, uh, those footballs. Um, we gotta make sure that we don't make mistakes and miss assignments, whether it be on offense or where we're filling on a defense. Um, I mean, right now, every single opportunity to get better and to get sharper, we have to take advantage of. Because again, you know, in the playoffs, these teams are too good. And, and you know, when we go back to, you know, if, if we're playing, whoever we're playing in the, uh, the second week of, of the playoffs here, um, you know, we just can't make those mistakes. Because, you know, if, if it's a Lakeview, um, if it's a Cambridge Springs, I don't know who won. But, uh, you know, both those games are games that we could have played in, but we just made too many mistakes, and you cannot do that with a team that good. So we're gonna we're just gonna work on making everything sharper. All right, uh, Jim Penley, congratulations on the win tonight. Good luck next week. Thank you.